Las Vegas keeps setting records, highest room rates, highest ever customer spend, and last year close to half of Nevada's GDP came from the state's tourism industry. That is great when you're on a hot streak, but what happens if the tourists actually stop spending? Contessa Brewer joins us from Reno with more on the Silver State's plans to diversify away from gaming and leisure. Not necessarily something they need now, but for the future, Contessa. We, absolutely. And here in northern Nevada, Becky, of course, Elon Musk brought a gigafactory and it's Silicon Valley 2.0. In southern Nevada, they're aiming for Hollywood in the desert, a coordinated effort to bring movie studios and film production to Las Vegas. The Las Vegas media campus would host a studio and a training school for film production where people learn the jobs. And then Howard Hughes has committed to investing $700 million dollars building a studio campus in Summerlin, outside of Vegas. Sony promises it would spend a billion dollars on film production in Southern Nevada over 10 years, but only if the state passes one of the biggest packages of tax incentives for film production, $190 million, or 20 times the current incentives. Opponents have balked at the massive price tag and argued that the state fund should go directly to, say, health care and education. That money is only earned if money is spent here. And for a company to earn a $190 million tax credit, what's been proposed today, they would have to spend $633 million filming and create an economic development for this whole valley of about $2.5 billion. And he says 16,000 jobs. But Nevada Policy Research argues in states where these film tax incentives are offered, they fall short of a net gain for the states. As the lobbying intensifies, today there will be some real star power. Mark Wahlberg lives outside Vegas. He'll head to the state capitol in Carson City for a meeting with the governor. He has production deals with Sony. Presumably, he would rather work closer to home rather than to travel to Georgia or Canada, which offer attractive incentives for companies to shoot their movies there. And that's where a lot of the filming is happening. The state assembly is required to vote by June 5th. I'll head to Carson City later today and see if I can get a feel for how this thing is going to go, Becky. Yeah, really interesting story. Contessa, yesterday there was a story on the front page of the Wall Street Journal that talked about how the casinos are seeing so many people coming through that they're doing all kinds of things to weed out the, the lowest level players, things like raising the stakes that you have to put down at the table, having it be much more complicated to win, lower payouts going out. Again, that seems like Good ideas potentially during boom times, but if there is a downturn and if consumers stop spending, all of a sudden they may wish they had some of those players back. You know, it's really interesting because some of those tweaking the odds a little bit, like I play roulette, and I noticed a few years ago, even before the pandemic started, that you'd go in and you might see a table with triple zeros instead mm. of just two uh, zeros. One so that zero. increases yeah. the odds for the house. Right, exactly. What we saw in the pandemic was that social distancing required more space between players, fewer tables, and so it was really important for the casinos that the people that were sitting at those tables were higher value players. So what you saw is the minimums going way, way up, and that uh, there too, the blackjack odds might change a little bit, where instead of paying out three to two, it might be paying out six to five. Again, that, mm -hmm. that helps the house win, right? Tom Reed got a lot of attention uh, for saying on the earnings call that, yeah, that tends to weed out your lowest demographic player. And they're coming and they're spending. But yesterday, Becky, I talked to Derek Stevens, who owns four casinos here, and he said, look, what we're seeing is that people are coming for the entertainment, and it just doesn't matter what the odds are in the casino. <laughs> that little bit doesn't seem to phase them.